left off, uh, previously we were exploring the ancient forest, which we've uh, kind of checked out now. And this time we're going to jump into the Wild Spire Waste, do the same thing again, kind of wander around the map and get a, get a feel for all the zones. This one, at least in my head, makes a lot more sense when you're exploring it. Like if you look at the map, it's far less mazy, I suppose. Like if you look at the middle of the ancient forest, it's an absolute catastrophe, but uh, Wild Spire Waste, uh, a lot simpler to understand. So we'll be jumping in from the southwest camp and uh, probably going in with the great sword because I'm probably going to use that to do a, a Rathalos hunt afterwards. So uh, let's jump right in and uh, try the other armor set out that I haven't worn yet. The feathered gear looks quite nice. Kind of reminds me of the, the gear that fella in the trailer is wearing. Let's jump in. After this, I'm either going to do a uh, another Rathalos hunt with the greatsword, try and get used to the shoulder bash, the new shoulder bash move that allows you to, to kind of chain into the, the higher levels of the charge attack, which are pretty awesome. Or I will try the bow out on Barath or Pl uh, not Plesioth. Um, thank you, please don't let there be a Plesioth in this game. Uh, the Mudsioth, I can't remember its bloody name now. Gerathodos, there we go. We'll go check out Gerathodos uh, with the bow, maybe. So it's another map with loads of cool wildlife to check out. So we're going to get out the capture net. Let's see if we can capture, can we capture the ants? You can, carrier ants. There you go. I wish those uh, descriptions hung about for a bit longer. I wonder if there's... There's not any way you can... can read them, is there? Which is a shame. It'd be nice if there was like a little booklet you could read all the information about the things you captured. Hunter's notes, maybe? No. It doesn't seem to be in here. At least it's not in the beta. Maybe in the full game there'll be somewhere you can read your, your details. I doubt I can capture a Kelby, but that would be amusing. There's another one of those shepherd foxes. I think they're called foxes, what are they called? Shepherd... Hare, that's it. They're rabbits, technically. They're adorable, still. Three carrier rents that time. So this was the first place I caught the um, the Velociraptors, not the Velociraptors, the... Oh look, that's the gate to um, the previous zone. Now I wonder if that goes to the town or whether that goes to... Yes, yeah, so that would return to Astera if you went that way. You could head back to Astera. It's pretty awesome. So that's where we came from the starter camp. Get some stones for the slinger. So here's a good fishing spot that we can definitely check out. There's a lot of fish here actually. I'll plot that one right in the middle of them. Okay, so anytime the, the thing goes down like that, you can just kind of hold it and then got a sushi fish, pretty staple fish for the series. That fish is chilling on the land. Hold on, this is more important. Put away the fishing rod, please. Who are you and why are you on land? No, I missed him. I wonder if I can... He's still in the water. Oh, they've all scattered now. No, I spooked him. Oh, he looked awesome. You can just... You can just do this. Ha! Hog puppy. Fish that bounces across the surface of the water. You can totally just shoot the net in to catch the fish. That's great. I love that. Oh, and you can jump in with them. Oh, that's neat. So in the old games, anywhere you could fish, you wouldn't ever be able to get in the water with them. This is so cool. Something up there is making noise. I wonder what it is. So I assume I can jump on these and swing across. Keep your feet dry by swinging across. Kind of a 
waterfall bit here. Get some honey as well. Always useful for making your mega potions. Oh. These, these new maps are mesmerizing. There's another one of these guys that go red when the monster goes nearby. Omen flies. Another latch berry. I have seen, I was watching some gameplay with Eric in 269 earlier, and, uh, what's his name? I don't know. I was watching gameplay with Eric earlier, and uh, he uh, realised that on this map you can get the ingredients you need to make a um, trank bomb. So you can use the existing shock traps or the pitfall traps to capture a monster if you so want, instead of uh, killing it, which is always fun. Where are you? Oh, he got away, another one of them little jumpy frogs. I need to know what those fish are now. Oh, I've seen two of them. Let's go see if they've come back over here. They might have. I'm lucky. Yeah. I wonder. I'm going to try and put the ghillie mantle on to see if it helps. Did I get it? Yes, climbing joy perch. An amphibian that has retained many of its ancient characteristics. The song's going to be heard during the rainfall. So it looks like those little fellas uh, climb up onto the land because they've got little legs. It's adorable. And then kind of bathe in the sun. That's awesome. What have we got here? Some more of the old water moss. Maybe another area where you can catch some fish. There's another joy perch, just chilling in the water, I guess. The wildlife noises are crazy. I haven't really spent much time in this area of the map. Doesn't seem that any of the monsters that we've currently got on the map come this way, but like you could imagine Rathian chilling out here when she turns up. There's your moss swine. He's not capturable. <laughs> what have we got? The poison plant. So you whack that, poison comes out. In fact, there's a whole bunch of them here. That seems like it's going to be annoying when you're fighting Rathian because she already poisons you enough as it is without uh, knocking all these plants over and po just pouring poison on the floor. There's a little secret path through there. I think this is just a smoke nut. A nut that produces a copious amount of smoke. Oh, so that's how you make your, your smoke bombs here. And probably it might even be an ingredient in like Some of the other uh, craftable items. So here we go. Here's the um. So what are they? They're vultures, revulture. That's it. That one's <laughs> just flown through the floor. And there's our boy, Big Baroth. He's our actual target for the quest, but we're not going to worry about that for now. We're on a mission to explore the Wildspire wastes. Much more important. Do some sliding. The slime is the best. This is where you find, um, what's his name? The fella that has a rock, not Sisi Yaku, the other one. Kulu Yaku? Basically there's a little bird wyvern that, why is he a bird wyvern? I guess he is. Picks up rocks, carries them around with him, and uses them to deflect your attacks if you try and beat him up. He's quite an early on monster that will be in the game.
this little cave down here leads down to where you will find your boy also known as Diablos the horny one the horny boy hang on I wanna get used to doing some mining there you go you get your three minings in and then uh, you have to search for another spot get some iron ore that you need to make armor Now, something I was wondering was, if I use these pods and shoot them at these sandy pillars, do they come down? Doesn't look like it. Maybe if I had like some better slinger ammo, I'd be able to knock them down. But with just um, these pedal pods, it doesn't seem possible. These can destroy uh, yep, yeah, I am well aware. These can do things like that. Set off your flash bombs. Stun them on it, so if they're looking, looking over here. Poor Flurry. It's got bashed. So, that's uh, most of the stuff down here. There's a little cave down there with the... Oh, I'll show it quickly. So this is a really messed up area where your boy Mon uh, Diablos comes to sleep. And so in here, these walls that are made of sand, he's able to uh, burrow inside them the same way he's able to burrow underground. So he jumps inside these falling sand walls and then launches himself out on you. It's crazy. Oops. Get some mashalite, nice. And my cat got me something as well, so when the quest completes, and the quest rewards, we'll get an extra item. Anyway, we're going to head back up to the surface now. There's another camp in here, but it's just tucked away at the back there. I think that might be where you find some of the, the felines. Oh! Yeah, I know you don't want us in your home. We're leaving, don't worry. We're on our way. What can we do with a sushi fish scale? Get out and look at it. Alright, awesome. About as effective as I expected. Cool. So up here, there's the main part of the wildfire wastes. You've got the, the wildfire itself, which I believe is that big pillar. These destructible pillars that your boys bear off and Diablos will smash into and, and knock down. Grab some bones. Get a bit of scouting. So we've got some Vespoids. Now these are the biggest dickheads in the world. <laughs> because they uh, they slowly fly over to you and then stab you with paralysis. Don't forget, you can guard too. And quite often there will be um, armor that you can create from Vespoids in the game. And as you see, that Vespoid I just killed uh, kind of completely disappeared because I destroyed it. So to make the Vespoid armor, you have to kill them without destroying them. And to do that, you often have to poison them. Uh, so you'd use like poison cloud bombs. You probably need a smoke nut to make. Smash it on the ground, it creates a cloud of poison gas. They start being poisoned to death and slowly, they surely die. And then you can uh, carve them for wings and I don't know what other body part carapaces, I guess. I don't know what other body parts you get from them. Oh yeah, that's how you, you create your Vespoid armor. And it's usually a huge flipping pain in the ass. <laughs> because they're such a pain to kill. What is... Why are you getting so wound up? I'm not interacting with you. Diablos is down there roaring it. God knows what. Whee. So I think we can do this all in one trip if I pick up the pace a bit. So we've been we've been all the way through zones one, two, three, six, and eight, both the upstairs and underground section of eight. There is an underground section in eleven, um, which we might check out if we get a chance. We're currently here. 
we're going to go through the, the kind of fields of lavender and then check out the swampy areas and go through 11 and 12 and I'll more or less more or less do this I think get that dung beetle beetle known to roll balls and monster dung so if he got to this pile of dung there he would uh, have rolled it about made it into slinger ammo as the uh, tip there said so you can go from here which is pretty cool actually i didn't know this and then in here there's another camp down here in this cool gloomy cave area with the slinger ammo that you can shoot about to light up the place it's glowing stuff bright moss I'll grab some bright of that. moss is slinger ammo Launch it at walls to light up the area. So apparently this can blind flying wyverns. I don't know if you shoot them in the face with it or what. But that's something I didn't know. Uh, the way out of here. That's a good question. I want to go this way. Yeah. It's got five minutes, so it's going to be a whirlwind tour through the, the swamp area. That's for sure. So you've got zone 10, which is where your boy Gerathodos lives. There he is, chilling out over there. Or Mudsioth, as he's been affectionately known. Given his relation to Levasioth that was recently announced to be returning in Monsanto World. That's just some swampy area. I'm not going to go near him now, no need to wind him up. What else do we have through here? bunch of different points you can climb up marked on the map with those little arrows it's good to know that that's all shown on the map there this is the area where you'll see Baroth come and try to catch a nap after he's uh, been suitably beaten up he climbs and nestles right down here in the mud Keep moving. This is my favourite uh, zone on the map here. Zone, uh, well, five, I guess. No, four. It's mostly zone four and zone nine. This sort of lavender field, which is the first arena that they actually showed off. Um, I don't know what these guys are. Iron Helm Grab, a crustacean found in muddy terrain, frequently carries hard objects and occasionally drops piercing pods. There you go. So yeah, this, this lavender area, this field, is where they first showed off a fight with Nergigante, which was pretty awesome. Since then they've shown him in various other places. Most notably the, the lava location and the, the place where you find Zora Magdalos, potentially even on his back. Can't capture that. Oh, we can. It's a wheelie litchy. Oh, it just uh, gives you some defense buff, I believe. And that, to be honest, is the main areas of the Wild Spar Waste. We'll um, go around back to where we started through zone, the rest of Zone 4. Thank you. I know the Baroth is over there, but I'm not going to go fight it. But yeah. Much simpler to understand than the, uh, the ancient forest, that's for sure. I feel right at home here already. I think it's a really good take on the traditional desert map that they usually have. I'm a bit disappointed there's no requirement for hot drinks here. But I guess with the way that they've changed the day-night cycles, maybe that's not going to be relevant anymore. It's hard to say. Like, because the game cycles from daytime to nighttime on its own, uh, would you have to take both hot and cold drinks if you went this place required them? Because normally desert maps in the day require hot drinks and at night require cold... Uh, the other way around, in the day require cold drinks and in the night require hot drinks. Um, but that wouldn't wouldn't work here in the Wild Spot Waste. Did I check this corner over here? I did, that was the way back to, to camp. Sweet. So... Pretty much everywhere we've explored. We didn't really go in zone 5, that's where you would find your, your parish rooms, which are useful for, uh, for making drank bombs. 
I don't think we've got... We'll walk over there just in case we have time to go check it out. It's nothing special. So that's where that waterfall we kind of followed from the north side, uh, that is where the west side kind of flows down to. But we're probably not going to make it in time. That was the waterfall we were looking at, coming from where the fishing pond was, and it all flows down through here. Through the area where you can kind of get the uh, felines to help you mount the, uh, sorry, the gremel kinds can help you take down the baroth here. And there you have it. Grab this nitro shroom. Hard to find mushroom with the power to generate blazing heat. A big group of criminal kinds up here. There you have it. Oz by waste. Looks like you failed the quest this time, but we'll try again soon, right? Right. <laughs>